assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to civil engineering zone youtube channel dear students in today topic we are going to study the most important topic that how to calculate thickness of rcc slab according to sci 318 dear students to calculate the thickness of rcc slab first of all it is important to understand that what is one way slab and what is two way slab dear students remember the one way slab are basically those slab in which the longer span to shorter span ratio should be greater or equal to 2 and otherwise the two way slab are those slab in which the longer span to shorter span ratio should be less than 2 so dear students if you want to study this topic in more detail that what is the main difference between one way and two way slab so the video link is mentioned in the description box and we can also click on this i button to watch the video okay so now dear students first of all come to the one way slab and study that how we can calculate the simply supported slab thickness dear students let's suppose that we have a slab having the shorter span length of s and the longer span length of l dear students remember if we are interested to calculate the thickness of this simply supported slab so we have a formula that s divided by 20 multiplied by the sternum dear students remember in this formula the s is represent the shorter span length and the fy represent the yield strength of the steel which is used in the slab and dear students also remember this term will be multiplied to the s by 20 if we use the grade of a steel less than 60,000 psi in case of the 60,000 psi if we put the fy of 60,000 psi so from here we will get the value of 1 so now if we multiply the win value to the sternum so it's mean that uh, for the grade 60 steel it will be a uh, value of 1 and dear students in case of grade 40 steel we will put the 40,000 psi over here and after the solution we will multiply uh, the sternum to this s by 20 okay and now dear students if we have a one way slab of 1 in continuous and we are interested to find the thickness of the slab so in this case our formula will be changed from the s20 to s24 okay and now the students come to the third one that the both end of the slave is continuous the students just you can see over here if we are interested to find the thickness of the slave so in this case our slave is continuous on the board direction the students remember for this uh, slab thickness calculation we have a formula this is divided by 28 and all multiply by this term okay and now the students come to the fourth one if we have a one way cantilever slab and for this case if we are interested to find the thickness of a slab so for this we have a formula this is divided by 10 multiply by this term okay and now the students come to the two way slab Dear students, remember if we have a two-way slab and we are interested to find the thickness of a slab. So in this case, we will just take the total parameter of a slab and then we divide this parameter by 180. Dear students, in this case, we take the L plus S plus L and plus S and we divide this whole parameter by 180 and after the calculation, it will give you the thickness of the slab. Okay, and dear students, uh, remember this formula is very rare in practice normally we divide this parameter by uh, 160 okay and the students also remember to find the thickness of rcc one way or two way slab if your result is less than five so remember the slab thickness should not be less than five inches okay uh, so dear students uh, this is our today topic i hope you will be learn something new from this lecture if you have any question related to this topic please comment on my channel i will try to replay your answer so see you in next video thanks for watching allah is